What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you my portable melee setup that I've made. I'm super proud of it. I think it's probably the coolest melee setup anyone's ever made, period. So uh, let's check it out, shall we? Um, so let's just go over the specifications. What did I want in the setup? I wanted a melee setup that was portable. I wanted a melee setup that could last a long time, you know? I didn't wanna just play for an hour. I wanted it to have a long run time. I wanted it to have top tier visual quality, so like CRT level quality. I needed convenience in uh, size, like I didn't want it to be too heavy. I wanted it to be mobile. I wanted it to be easily carried. So we're gonna go over the basically the creation I've made. This is probably the third iteration of the TV and uh, super happy with how it's turned out and uh, just trying to get some more use out of it. So the first component to go over is the TV. I was specifically looking for a small TV because I needed something low power and it needed to be DC so that I could charge it off a battery. So this is the best TV I could find. It was about $80. It's a Sansui 12 inch with the VCR in case we want to shove something in here. I used to carry it around Shrek, but then I freaking broke the VHS. We won't talk about that. We got the headphone ports right here, one and two, so that uh, two people, two opponents can plug in, get the direct game sound from the console, just right into the headphones. Love that you don't have to carry around an extra splitter or whatever to get the audio out. So that's honestly an underrated huge thing about the TV. As I mentioned before, also the TV is 12 volts and uh, relatively small. And the beautiful thing about this TV, tops out at about 45 watts. Uh, 45 watts is relatively low compared to every other CRTs I was looking at. The other ones seem to be around 50 watts, 55, but this one, 45 watts. And then I also modded my Wii, so we'll get into that. The Wii runs on about 15 watts, and it actually, uh, the Wii internally runs at 12 volts. And so, we're gonna come around the back here. This is the literal AC adapter that the Wii comes with, right? But if you cut off right after the block, it actually accepts 12 volts directly in. So you don't have to do many modifications in order to get this powered off the battery. They're both connected right here in parallel. So this is our battery powering those two items, right? So this is a Renogy 280 watt solar battery. Uh, it was basically the best bang for buck and also is a very convenient size. I didn't want anything too blocky because I wanted to make sure the battery could be attached. Okay, this guy is about 280 watt hours. So if we quickly do the math in our heads, we said that this guy was 45 watts. We said that this guy is about 15 watts. So the whole system is about 60 watts total. Now, 60 watts total, this is 280 watt hours. So that's about four hours would be four times 60. That's about 240 watt hours. So this should get us about four and a half hours of battery power for just the Wii and the TV. So overall, that's very solid, very good for just a session, almost more than enough. So the next iteration, you know, I used to not be tracking. I used to have like a Raspberry Pi attached to this. that was supposed to do the recording and the streaming. It turns out I needed to use my laptop, which has worked out honestly much better because, you know, even if I had a Raspberry Pi attached to this and I want to run a stream on it, it's like, well, I'm still going to need a keyboard. I'm still going to need a display. Like, it's just more convenient to literally just have a laptop managing all the all the stream content. We guess just have a Dell XPS 13 here. The CRT already comes with a output that you can just directly put a capture card in. This capture card is the GV USB 2, which is probably the best bang for buck capture card you can get for a CRT. Uh, the one thing is that the drivers are like given to you on a Japanese manual and there's very little support outside of Windows. However, if you're a gangster like me, there are some user-made open source drivers you can download, but it was a pain in the ass. I had to change at least two lines of the code in order to get it to work properly on my machine. Overall, I was successful in getting the drivers to work, but all I'm saying is that if you're not familiar with the Linux environment and messing with the kernel, I would not recommend this guy. But uh, if you are confident, you know, I'll try to keep the the driver links in the description so that if anyone does because honestly the thing is the quality is really good it's just getting it to work was so finicky so i can't quite recommend it but yeah so that's the capture card going into the pc and then we got obs streaming everything 
Then the one other thing, this is the most recent addition to the setup, is this bad Larry. Now this is the Mo5 4500. Okay, you take a cell phone SIM card, you throw it in this guy. These are LTE uh, specific antennas that talk to the towers. I'd recommend using Visible Wireless with this. Visible Wireless has a very affordable unlimited internet plan for roughly $25 to $30 a month. Um, that's what I have for my personal phone and I got an extra sim to throw in this guy so now I pay I think like 50 or 60 bucks a month and I get unlimited on both those devices. So this thing you can bring it anywhere. In order to carry around better I got a little guitar strap that wraps around both the battery and the Wii so that it makes carrying very secure, very safe and it has the ability to keep everything secure but yeah this is my, my bad Larry right here. The ultimate melee smash setup baby. Here's you guys. Can you see? Boom. We love that. And yeah, man, I am live right now over at twitch.tv slash badboytv. Alright, yo, thank you so much guys for watching the video. That is a brief overview of my ultimate melee smash setup. Portable, streaming, freaking doohickey. And uh, yeah, super excited how it came out and uh, the possibilities that I can use this for are effectively endless. So super stoked to have it and uh hopefully you can see more content with it in the future